Now, I've always noticed snails on my morning walks along the sidewalks and trails. I never heard anyone using them for fishing bait, but I thought, why not? It's always worms, minnows, or leeches that people use in my area. At first, I figured that because no one used them, they just don't work. But thinking about it more, I thought I would experiment with them as bait, and oh man, I was not disappointed. I'll compare snails to worms over minnows and leeches as there are more similarities between them. The primary similarities are that they can be both harvested for free. Now there are some advantages of snails as bait, especially over worms. First, they store really well. I put them in a container with ventilation holes in the fridge for two weeks with no issue so far. They seal themselves up and retain their moisture. As far as I know, they can hibernate like they do for our winters for five to six months, so I collect a bunch of them to use whenever I want. Second, they stay on the hook much better than worms. They're much tougher and can take many nibbles from smaller fish that would usually rip a worm off the hook. I've caught and released and reused the same snail for multiple fish. Over a two hour session, I typically take maybe six to eight snails. Third, they transport easily because they are pretty durable and fit in a small container. Fourth, they are obviously free. You can collect so many in the early morning simply by walking on any sidewalk or trail. There's no digging or tools needed. And if it rained the night before, watch out. There's a bounty before you. At last, they are so much neater than worms to handle. First, there's no dirt. Also, snails are the perfect size, as they are for most species so there's no need to cut them up into pieces like you do for worms. They don't wriggle around, making it hard to get the hook on sometimes. The only really con is you have to get them out of their shell. You can't just pull them out as garden snails are usually attached to the shell near the end. You do have to lightly break the shell and take off the shell pieces, but this is actually pretty easy to do. You just have to be careful of the crushing process. You're not having to deal with guts going all over the place and making a mess like with worms. You can thread them on the hook quite easily as you would a worm, but because they're more compact for larger hooks or larger species that you're going after, you may have to use more than one snail. Now when I take it fishing, the fish bite really quick. In this particular spot, it seems like the bullheads were the main fish in the area and they apparently love the snails. It's a no brainer for the catfish family, but this has also worked on the creek chub, shiners and bluegills so far. Here we go. Here's the bite. Yeah, we got something on here. Oh, what is it? Bullhead? Probably a bullhead. Yeah, there's a nice bullhead in here. Oh shoot. Gobi. Oh god, no, 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 no. Round Gobi, all the way up here. So don't overlook this free, plentiful, and easy to store and handle bait for your next fishing adventure. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.